Let's go to our last text, our last point. We need a Redeemer who can accomplish his task. When Reuben returned to the pit, and they saw that Joseph was not in the pit, he tore his clothes and returned to his brothers and said, The boy is gone, and I, where shall I go? Then they took Joseph's robe and slaughtered a goat and dipped the robe into the blood. And they sent the robe to many col- of many colors and brought it to their father and said, This we have found. Please identify whether it is your son's robe or not. And he identified it and said, It is my son's robe. A fierce animal has devoured him. Joseph is without doubt torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his garments and put sackcloth on his loins and mourned for his son many days. All his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted and said, No, I shall go down to Sheol to my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him. Meanwhile, the Midianites had sold him in Egypt to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, the captain of the guard. It's an interesting observation. The sons fooled Jacob with a garment. If you recall, Jacob fooled his father with a garment. We, we, we constantly see the pattern of bad fathering and bad parenting come back up among the patriarchs. Would that be a warning to us? The biggest point here is that Reuben had a plan. Reuben was going to save his little brother. Reuben wasn't able to. Reuben failed. We don't know where Reuben goes. Maybe, maybe eating was just so distasteful to him because he was trying to save Joseph. We don't know where Reuben goes, but when he comes back and his brother's gone, he's angry. Reuben was supposed to be his redeemer. He was supposed to be the one who let him escape. He's supposed to be the one who delivers and redeems <clears throat> Joseph out of this, well, out of, out of his, his, his almost sudden death. Friends, when we look at Reuben, we should be reminded of one thing. Our redeemer does not fail. We have a big brother who does not fail. Our big brother knows everything that's going on. He always is in control. He has the power to do whatever he wants. Our big brother is Jesus Christ. He is God himself who has become man, and he is able to redeem perfectly because he is perfect. Reuben failed to redeem his little brother. But as we, as brothers and sisters, as as children of God, we get to look up to our big brother and know that our big brother doesn't fail. There's no more sure, steadfast anchor for our souls than Jesus Christ and his death on the cross, his resurrection, and his ascension to the right hand of the Father. There's nothing more sure. There's no power greater. There's no love more infinite than our big brother, the one true Son of God who allows us to come into God's presence. He accomplishes what he intends. And Jesus Christ has intended to save sinners. And if we have been allowed to know that great salvation, we can only rejoice and boast in Him. But again, friend, if you are with us and you do not know this salvation, if you do not know Jesus Christ, please talk to me now during the song, later after the service. Talk to another one of the deacons, one of the men taking up the offering. Don't leave this place without knowing this salvation. Without this salvation, you will continue in your sin. That sin will destroy you here on this life, and it will ultimately destroy you when you face a holy and just God.